what if you could fall asleep within 15 minutes every night? You know, the thing is, sleep is something so basic. Humans have been sleeping and sleeping well, I would argue, for a very, very long time, ever since we've arrived on this planet. Yet many people struggle with getting a good night's rest, falling asleep quickly, staying asleep, waking up refreshed, and being able to fall asleep if you wake up or if they wake up in the middle of the night, you know, by turning around or by going to the bathroom or whatever the case might be. I've been using a device and for those who struggle with sleep, a lot of people, you know, they resort to supplements or even pharmaceuticals in some cases like Ambien or melatonin or magnesium and a bunch of other supplements that some of which, you know, can absolutely help you either fall asleep or just sleep better because they help your nervous system to calm down and help you relax a little bit. And stress is obviously one of the major issues or sleep disruptors, I want to say, that can keep you awake at night and prevent you from falling back asleep once you have finally fallen asleep. You know, I mean, I've been there. And wouldn't it be nice to have something that's, you know, not a supplement, nothing pharmaceutical, nothing that could potentially get you hooked on it and so you need it all the time because otherwise you're not going to be able to fall asleep. And a couple of months ago, I stumbled across a personalized neurostimulation device called Somni. This is the latest version. The one I actually reviewed in the past was this one. So this is Somni Generation 1. And this is the significantly nicer and sleeker looking Generation 2, as you can tell. And what Somni does is it gently nudges your brain waves into a pattern that's most conducive to falling asleep. It's basically doing what deep breathing what meditation, all of those things that influence not only your nervous system, but also what's happening in your brain do, but actively, you know, so you don't really have to do anything other than, well, nothing, just lie there. And I've been using Somni for a while now. I did a dedicated review on the first generation Somni. I really liked it. There were a couple of things that this first generation device I figured could do better. And Somni listened, I mean, not only to me, but probably to all of the user base and beta testers and internal resources that have been working hard on improving the device. And the result is, well, the second generation Somni that I want to talk about in this this video. Specifically, I want to tell you more about what's different, what's new, because there are a lot of things in this generation two device that are much, much better. And it's also much more comfortable to wear it for extended periods or overnight. And it's meant to be worn overnight, actually, because it can also sleep track and you use an EEG sleep tracker. So you not only can not only use it to help you fall asleep and sleep better and wake up more refreshed, but it also then tells you the next morning how you slept in numbers. You know, sleep tracking is also a very important thing for many many people these days, especially as you learn how to interpret how you sleep and, you know, listen to your own body and just go by how you feel in the morning, which I think is the most effective way of telling how you slept. But nonetheless, sleep tracking is, is interesting, is cool. Uh, I like it. It's certainly something that you can learn a lot from. And so what's new with, or maybe just a quick recap, what is Somni specifically? What does it do? Well, it uses personalized, very gentle neurostimulation. So you can see electrodes here. Those are actually gel pads that click in that are in contact, direct contact with your skin and so it gently provides neurostimulation through the skull and it nudges your brain waves as i said before into a pattern that helps you relax and ultimately fall asleep and get into the deep phases of sleep the restorative sleep which is so important and so that's what zombie does in a nutshell the way it works is pretty simple you put it on like so you turn it on and then for the first couple of weeks, it takes a baseline, you know, so it learns from how your brain works at night before going to sleep to kind of figure out what is going on. And then based on that, it provides that gentle neurostimulation. It keeps learning because obviously what's happening in our head changes all the time from day to day. I mean, there are some basic framework, I want to say, but within that framework, you know, you might have different levels of stress. You might have had more stimulants during the day. So there are a lot of things that might change from day to day and Somni can to respond to that in real time, so to say, and always provide the best, most effective stimulation so you can fall asleep. Now, let's talk about what's new between generation one and generation two. One of maybe let's talk about some of the downsides of the, the first generation that I pointed out in my previous video, and that is you had to take off the device. So the way I used Somni in the past was I would wear it on the couch, I would watch TV or talk to my wife or read a book or whatever I would do at night to 
to kind of relax and settle down. I would go through the stimulation phase, which takes approximately 15 or so minutes, preceded by a 30 second baseline um, reading. And then I would take it off and hopefully shortly after go to bed and try to fall asleep. Because if you use this an hour before going to bed, your brain is likely going to be out of that pattern that it's supposed to be in to fall asleep and get a good night's sleep. A lot that can happen, you know, in an hour. And you might have noticed it, you know, you fall asleep on the couch, you get up, you know, you brush your teeth, whatever. By the time you're in bed, you're not tired anymore or you, you can't sleep anymore. And kind of the same principle I want to say, you know, applies with the neurostimulation. You really want to do it very close to bedtime. The problem is that many people, and I think that happened to me once as well as if I wore this in bed, you know, I fall asleep and then it's a little bit clunky here. And this is not meant to be worn all night, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It also has a relatively thin strap here. So it wasn't super secure on your forehead. And there were issues associated with wearing it all night because it was not supposed to, or it wasn't designed for that. This one is entirely different. This one is meant to be worn all night. And in fact, if you do, it uses the built-in EEG to track your sleep. And I really like this because that means I can wear this right when going to bed. In fact, I put it on when my wife turns off the light. You know, we typically have red light in the bedroom. Almost looks like a bordel for to our neighbor's eyes. But we turn on the red lights so we don't get you know any blue light into our eyes. I put it on. My wife turns off the light. My head hits the pillow. I start the session and I can do this. Actually, that's the other thing. I really, really like about the Generation 2. It's not tethered to the phone. You know, the previous one, I needed to start the session on the phone and kept the phone nearby until it was done. And then it would sync and all those things. With the Generation 2, I don't even, my phone can be in airplane mode, can be in another room, can be turned off. It doesn't really matter. All I have to do is turn on the device by clicking the button up there. And once it's on, you can maybe see the LED here flashing now. Once it's on, I hold again for three seconds and it starts the session, starting with the baseline and then the stimulation session for 15 minutes. And at this point, I can leave it on. It, it is comfortable. Now, one thing I want to point out is the inside here is incredibly soft and very comfortable on the skin. So you barely notice it. You can obviously adjust the tightness of your band. You know, you want to keep it tight enough, but maybe not quite so tight that you see the impression here on your head. So you have to play with it a little bit. That's maybe one thing, you know, you have to, over a couple of days, you need to figure out how tight is tight enough so it doesn't slide around, but still comfortable, right? The only thing in, in terms of comfort that I want to point out is, you know, this out here, the outer layer here is a little bit of a stiffer fabric to give it that stiffness. And here on the back, close to the ears, if I want to put this on here real quick, if it slides down too far at night, maybe because my head hits the pillow and then I move up a little bit and it comes down, then I can feel it here on my ear. It's not uncomfortable in the sense of that it pinches or anything, but it's, I can feel that there is like a stiffer fabric touching my ear. So I'm hoping that maybe at some point, you know, Somni can just remove that stitching from here and only go until here. So it doesn't bother the ear. That would be my recommendation or my suggestion for a future improvement. But overall, it's incredibly comfortable. And again, I leave it on, the session runs. And once the session has finished, it starts tracking sleep. So in the morning when I wake up, I can take it off. I can put it back on the charger. This is the charger here. It's the same concept as the previous one. It's in a USB-C here. And then it's a magnetic dock and you just click it in. And if you're a chime, that's an indicator that it's charging. I just do this every morning that I get out of my, of the bedroom and go into my office and put it back on the charger. So it's fully charged for the night again. And then it syncs up all of the data that it captured overnight via Wi-Fi. So you can set, you can connect this to Wi-Fi, but the Wi-Fi is only active when the device or the, the headband is on a charger. So you're not going to get exposed to Wi-Fi while you're wearing it. That's another very neat feature, especially if you decide to wear it overnight for sleep tracking. And so this is one thing that I really like the fact that I can fall with it asleep. And here is the funny thing. I mentioned it before, the session lasts for approximately 15 minutes, including or not including the 30 second baseline reading in the beginning. And what I've noticed, except once we came home super late and I kind of messed up a little bit my circadian rhythm. It, in that case, it took me maybe 20 minutes to fall asleep in every other night. And I've been wearing this now for the past two, three weeks or so every day. I always fell asleep before the session was over because you can tell when the session is over and I never hear the end of it. So I'm always asleep within 15 minutes. And that's pretty good. And I would argue for someone who struggles with, with falling asleep, that can be a time saver. In fact, well, not a time saver, but a lifesaver really in the sense of finally falling asleep quicker, getting better sleep and waking up more rested. And Somni has conducted several studies and I, I can link some of that content then in the description so you can check it out for yourself. But based on their testing, Somni is four times more effective than 
melatonin. You know, and now I've mentioned this in my previous video, you know, melatonin is very good at making you fall asleep, but is not super effective at helping you stay asleep. So the effectiveness or the comparison and effectiveness is not related. You're not going to be fall necessarily four times faster asleep with somni versus melatonin, but your overall sleep quality for your overall sleep, the whole night, looking at the whole night, it's uh, four times more effective. And that is pretty impressive because melatonin arguably is a very popular and also very effective, but also overused, I would argue, dietary supplement that can really help you or supplement that can help you, you know, with your sleep. It's also more effective than Ambien. I mean, it's not really a surprise because Ambien is a terrible choice. It doesn't really help you to get more good sleep. It just knocks you out, but you're not really recovering during that time, you know. It can add up to 30 minutes of more sleep. Again, depending on if you're already an incredible sleeper. I mean, I am would argue I sleep fairly well most nights, except when I do something stupid like consume alcohol too close to bedtime or maybe work out too intensively before bedtime or, you know, I travel across time zones. Those kind of things can mess with my sleep. But generally speaking, I sleep well and I wake up refreshed most mornings. So what I've noticed is the falling asleep part. I usually don't take very long to fall asleep. I want to say within 25 minutes or less, I'm asleep regardless. With this, I fall asleep even quicker because for me, typically when I go to bed and I don't have any device or anything, you know, involved, the way I help myself falling asleep is by breathing, by intentionally breathing. I mean, we all breathe, hopefully, but I intentionally breathe, the like box breathing or, you know, slow nasal breathing, the kind of things, you know, to calm down my nervous system and to clear out any potential clutter and noise that is in my head, you know, as you can imagine between the podcast and the YouTube and raising animals on the homestead and homeschooling kids and running the Terra Lava and MK supplements businesses. There is a lot that's going on and most of it it's going on in my head because I'm you know kind of trying to manage and then coordinate all of those things and keep the, the train going in the right direction and so by breathing typically that's how I do it but I've noticed even with my breathing that helps a lot to calm me down and make me fall asleep eventually Somni is even more effective not four times more effective but it is more effective I mean in less than 15 minutes I can't tell if it's 5, 10 or 14 minutes that I was out well actually looking at the eight sleep you know some of the train that I do there based on that it's between 10 and 13 minutes that it takes me to fall asleep not sure how absolutely accurate that is but it's definitely less than 15 minutes just based on the fact that the somni session lasts for 15 and I never reach the end of it well I reach it once and so that's how it has helped me to just clear my mind at the end of the day, you know, by using that stim session, I don't know if it's, there are probably multiple factors involved, but one is probably I can feel this light tingling. In fact, I try to focus on that. And by doing that, I'm present. I'm focusing on one thing and one thing only. And that is how the device or the electrode feels on my skin. That's at the end of the day, a form of mindfulness meditation ish, you know, by not being distracted with a million things, focusing only on one thing and that happens to be how I feel in a particular area of my body. So that I'm sure helps. The other thing is obviously then the direct stimulation that I receive through Somni to kind of get my brain waves into the right pattern. And the combination of that has really helped me be incredibly efficient at falling asleep and at waking up refreshed in the morning. Typically, I do wake up refreshed in the morning, but I've noticed in particular now after using Somni for about two weeks in the beginning, it was like, you know, I couldn't really feel much of a difference in the sense of how I woke up in the morning. But now that I've been using it for a while, I wake up without an alarm. Typically, I mean, I have this alarm in my bed that just heats up the surface of the mattress. That's usually for me the cue to it's time to get out of bed. But I've noticed lately that I just wake up before that and I feel fully alert and ready to roll. It seems like by using Somni for a couple of weeks, my circadian rhythm, my hormonal cycles where, you know, where cortisol gets released at the right time in the morning to help you get up, all of this is now better in sync than it was before. Not that it was terrible before, but now I feel like it's even more robust and I really like this. Now, as far as the sleep tracking is concerned, it's tough to tell exactly how accurate something is, but based on everything I know about sleep tracking and all of the trackers I've used in the past, including wearables, including, you know, my eight sleep, including EEG based devices, EEG appears to be the most accurate way of measuring brain waves because that's ultimately an indicator if you're sleeping or not and in what stage of sleep you're in, unless you're the master meditator and you can get yourself into the same kind of slow waves a normal person would only get during sleep. But for regular shows like you and I, I would argue that EEG is the most accurate way. 
And of course, then it depends on the interpretation of those brainwaves. So there is still a chance of misinterpretation. I mean, even humans, when they look at the results of a sleep lab, can make mistakes. So nothing is 100% accurate. But based on what I've seen, it appears to be fairly good. The only part where I'm not 100% convinced is the time it sometimes claims that I'm awake during the night. Now, I know we all wake up at the end of a sleep cycle. We might briefly, you know, wake up and then fall asleep again. But I've noticed during a couple of nights, it told me that I was asleep for 30 minutes or even longer. And I'm not sure if that's accurate. The rest, as far as deep sleep and REM sleep is concerned, it appears to be fairly spot on based on what I've seen. But again, what's most important, I think, is as far as sleep tracking is concerned, how do you feel in the morning? And Somni actually has a journal that is used in clinical settings where sleep quality and sleep issues are studied and being improved. They use the same journal in the app. So in the morning when you wake up, maybe 30 minutes after waking up, you can fill out the journal and answer, you know, how refreshed you are, how anxious do you feel, etc. All of those things that ultimately determine how well you slept. And if you sleep well, then it doesn't really matter what a tracker says, regardless of which one it is. If you feel good, if you feel energetic, if you feel not anxious in the morning, if you just feel good and you felt like, okay, I got a good amount of rest, I'm ready to tackle the day, then don't worry about the numbers. That's ultimately what matters. And so I've been going a lot by based on how I feel. And I can tell you by using Somni, I feel even better than I would normally feel. And so this is the device, again, with a flexible, you know, Velcro strap, you can adjust the size of it. Um, it's super easy to use. You don't need your phone to use it. I love that. I absolutely love that. Just put it on, turn it on, try to go to sleep, and chances are you're going to be out in no time. For me, less than 15 minutes. I like it. Sometimes when I wake up at night, you know, maybe I have to go to the restroom or whatever. Sometimes I take it off. Sometimes I leave it on. Again, I'm not too concerned about the sleep tracking aspect. I'm more concerned about the gentle neurostimulation that helps me fall asleep, not only fall asleep, but then also get high quality restorative sleep. That's the other thing. Falling asleep quickly is nice, but you also want to then have enough restorative sleep, meaning slow wave and REM sleep. So you wake up refreshed and restored in the morning and Somni helps with that. And that's why I love it. And it's so easy to use. It's a no brainer at the end of the day. And if you're using melatonin or other sleep supplements, I would highly encourage you, or if you struggle with sleep generally, and unfortunately, a lot of people do. Give Somni a try. Check it out. If it doesn't work for you, they have refund policies in place and all that. But I would argue that it has helped so many people already. I could feel the difference and I'm a good sleeper and I'm doing a lot of things already right. And it still has helped me to improve my sleep a little bit. So I can only imagine what it's going to do to someone who, you know, really struggles with sleep, falling asleep, staying asleep, waking up refreshed. So give it a try. I'm going to leave all the links down below. I really like this device and I hope you'll use it and like it. If you do, let me know in the comments how it's been working for you. If you have any questions, let me know as well. Until next time.